Alright, so if you've heard of a stack mat timer, they can be pretty pricey at around $34. So on today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own from scratch. So let's get into this video. So if you want to make this project, you're going to need one Arduino Uno or any microcontroller, a breadboard to place your components, one LCD display, display 16 pins, and a 22 ohm, 220 ohm resistor, two tactile switches or push buttons, one jump, a couple jumper wires and a pot trimmer, and one computer, one wire to program your um, board with your computer, for which I'm just using a HP laptop. So first we're gonna start off with wiring up our display. So you're gonna need your 220 ohm resistor, your pot trimmer, a wire, your 16 pin LCD display, and that's it. All right, so I have links in the description if you wanna wire this up yourself a link to the wiring diagram for this whole thing and you sh if you follow that it should be pretty easy and there's links in the description for that so now we have this all wired up um the you just have the lcd display and the pot trimmer so we're gonna plug this in to see if it works and all right so that's good it works so for this one you're gonna be wiring up your buttons for the stack mat timer so you're gonna need your breadboard your two push buttons and uh, one and a couple jumper wires. So let's get into this. All right. So again, I have wiring diagrams in the description. If you want to try this on your own, it's just the same wiring diagram as the LCD. All right. So congratulations, you have your thing wired up now. Now you need to code it. So I have links in the description for the code, a website that I found the code from. And you're just going to use your wire, connect it to your computer, and upload the code. And so let's see how you do that. You're going to want to install Arduino Create, which is just a coding um, website sort of thing. Um, and I have links in the description for that. You're going to create a new sketch, name it whatever you want. You're going to delete anything that's already there. And you're going to copy the code from that website. Remember, links in the description. You're going to paste it on. And sometimes there's just some random stuff in there that you need to take out. Um, I just had to do that. Um, and that's it, I verified and saved it. And now you're gonna upload it to your board through the cable. All right, so um, you have your thing wired up and coded, so congratulations, you're almost there. Let's just test this first. So plugging your my um, voltage source in, um, I see by just, just adjusting your pot trimmer, you can adjust the contrast. And it says press start, which is good. And when you press the buttons, it starts timing you. And you see, since you wired, since you put out the buttons um, on each side, it looks like a stack mat timer. But my colors don't match. It's green to stop and red to go. So let me rewire this just really um, quickly. You just I just have to swat, switch, sorry, swatch, switch the places of the wires, or you could just switch um, the buttons. I did the wires because that's just a bit easier um yeah and you just switch the wires if you have yours on wrong i it doesn't really matter that's optional i just like it like that and it works so that's nice so um let's get into some solves on this excellent timer all right so um i have my diantinian and we're gonna start scrambling this and try to do a test solve on this to see how this works so um i'm just gonna scramble my cube um it just shouldn't take very long. Um, yeah, so we're just scrambling right now, mixing up the cube, and it's all mixed up now. So now I'm gonna inspect it or just see what I want to do so I can have a plan for when I'm solving. So just planning it out basically, and I am ready. So we're gonna start solving. So this is sped up. I don't really solve this fast. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're just speeding this up. Um, and this solve, um, this solve was pretty nice. I actually really like this timer. Um, in the future, you'll see a couple live streams of me doing solves on this timer. And, yeah. So, let's see here. My time was 38 and, sorry, 37 seconds, which is actually an average time for me. It's, it's not that. It's not the best, but it's actually pretty average. Um, so remember like subscribe ring that notification bell links are everything is linked in the description if you want to try checking this out the board everything program whatever you whatever you would need and until next time catch you later all right so um you can check out any videos here um make sure to click that subscribe button 
um, and follow me on Instagram at the Ruby Cube Official. And until next time, I'll see you later.